If you're the motor for your kayak, then the paddle is the drive shaft that allows you to propel the boat forward. Sea kayak paddles vary in length from 210 to 250 centimeters, and they have three main parts. There's the shaft, the power face, and the back face. The power face is the side of the paddle that catches water when you take a forward stroke. Paddles are made from a variety of materials, with the most common being plastic, fiberglass, carbon fiber, and wood. Wood paddles are the most traditional and they feel nice, although they tend to be heavier and need to be taken care of. Plastic blades offer a good blend of performance, durability, and affordability. Fiberglass or carbon blades are lighter and stiffer, although they're usually a lot more expensive. The stiffness of glass or carbon paddles gives your strokes a bit more power, but it also makes them harder on your joints, as the paddle absorbs the less shock. When choosing a paddle, you'll need to decide on its length and the blade size. The type of paddling that you do and your physical size will help you make these decisions. As a general rule, smaller paddlers should use smaller blades and a shorter shaft. The stronger you are, the larger the blades and the longer the shaft you'll be able to control. As for the type of paddling that you do, shorter paddles with bigger blades promote a more vertical paddle stroke, which suits a more active paddling style. Longer paddles and smaller blades facilitate a lower angle stroke that's preferred when covering longer distances. These paddles will often have a soft dihedral shape to their power face, which means the two facets of the blade, either side of the center line, slope away slightly. This causes your paddle to catch less water, which means a smoother and easier stroke. Once you've chosen a paddle length and a blade size, there's a few other decisions that you need to make, the most important of which is the offset or feather of the blades. Feather is the amount of twist between the blades of a paddle. One nice thing is that most touring paddles come as two-piece designs, which provides multiple feather options. Paddles can have a large offset, or they can be flat. The advantage of feathering the blades is that in high winds, the top blade slices through the wind, offering less resistance. On the other hand, a flat paddle is more intuitive and means less repetitive twisting of your wrist, which can help prevent tendonitis. There's no right way here, just personal preference. One thing we recommend though, is that once you do decide on an offset of your paddle, that you stick with it, not jump around from one to another. You need to know exactly how your blade is gonna contact the water, especially when bracing. Something you'll probably see on the water are these twisty shafts. The idea is to make life easier on your wrist by placing your wrist and arm in the most natural position when taking a stroke. These paddles are usually quite a bit more expensive and there's an endless debate about their true value, which we're not gonna get into. 